Everyone knows WooCommerce. Everyone knows Shopify. But what if there was something built for 2026 that feels like Shopify inside WordPress? Well, that's Shuakat for you. And in today's video, I'm going to give you my raw first impressions as I try it out for the first time. By the end of this video, you'll know if Shuakat is for you or just another plugin hype. For those of you who have just come across Shuakat, I want to tell you that if you have sold anything on Shopify, the way you manage ad products and stuff like that, Shuakat gives you that kind of similar experience. But also if you have used WooCommerce, the way you add products and the way you manage products and shipping and all that stuff is also an experience that Shuakat gives you within WordPress. Now, what makes Shuakat so different? The difference for me is that they are giving you so many features for free to use in WordPress without having all the technical know-how and setup and everything. They are doing all the heavy lifting for you and all you have to do is to start running your business. And guess what? They are not charging you a fee if you just want to pay a transaction fee on all the transactions that you'll be making on your store. And if you decide to pay a yearly fee, you will only pay $179 as a capped fee for whatever you make on your store. So it means that you can start selling right away. And guess what you can offer on your store? When you look over here on Shortcut, look at features, you can have, oh, you are able to sell digital products, physical products, subscriptions, you can use Shortcut to collect donations, you can manage licenses if you're a product maker, and a lot more. So let's just go straight here in the WordPress dashboard, just give you an idea of how Shortcut looks and feels like. Well, it's a WordPress plugin. When you come over here to plugins, you can look up for Shortcut. You see, I have Shortcut installed at the moment, but you can come here to plugins and then search for Shortcut. So when you look up Shortcut over here, it should be able to show up. And apparently it has over 100,000 active installs. And maybe one thing I forgot to mention, this video is not sponsored by Shortcut, but I really have to mention that it comes from a very legit business, the makers of Astra, the makers of Spectra. So you are really in good hands of people with good experience. So if you are going to build your business using Shortcut, you are sure that everything is in the right hands and that you can trust this product and rely on it for a long term. Now, once you install Shortcut, the process is really easy. Before you know, you'll be over here having this menu item and then you can start setting up your store. Now, just to give you a quick overview of how a Shortcut store would look like. So this is, you know, a dummy, you know, site that I set up just to show you how you can set up and some of the features of Shortcut. And if I take you here to the shop page, you will see that we have something that looks like Shopify, but also looks like WordPress or WooCommerce. And you see, we can have different kinds of products, single products, we can have variable products, we can have physical products, we can have digital products. Depends on what you want to sell. Now, if I open up like uh, this single product, you see someone can make a one-time payment or they can pay monthly subscriptions. I mean, with this feature, of paying monthly subscription in other stores you have to purchase a specific plugin to do specifically this but Shortcut is giving it for you for free and they will only charge you a transaction fee if someone purchases something that means that it's enabling more people to run businesses without having to you know pay, to pay something up front i know how that feels like and once you see that this is working out for you or in your circumstance then why not proceed with it? Now, this is a single product which someone can pay as a one-time purchase or they can do it as a monthly subscription. And if I add to cart, we get this off canvas widget or checkout widget. And if I just say here, proceed, uh, then it will take me straight to the checkout page where I enter in my details. And guess what? 
Surecard integrates with more than four different payment aggregators and you can receive payments from over 130 countries. I'm just going to show you that in a minute, but this is how a typical checkout Surecard page would look like. You can change anything here, the format, the branding, and the details that are appearing on your checkout page, but this is how it looks like. And by the way, you don't have to have any technical setup. Everything within Surecard, you can just simply click, drag, and get everything set up. Now, let's just go back quickly here and go look at the settings of Surecard. So I'm going to come here to dashboard, then come here to the Surecard dashboard. There is an option down below here called settings. So when you set up Surecard, you have this settings page where you enter all the details, the time zones and all that stuff, the privacy policy pages, you can link them up over here, add the sender name and all the necessary details about your store. But there are two, three, four, five features I wanted to bring your attention. One, there is this branding and design. This is where you set up the brand and colors. You can add a logo. You can choose what kind of theme you want to use. You can also choose which cut icon you want to use and also the cut type, whether it's floating, whether it's a menu. So the floating one is the one that we are using at the moment. So if I come over here, on the home page you see we have a floating cut widget and you can choose you know from here menu that means that it will be integrated in the menu and then you can choose in which menu that cut widget will be added that all goes back to how you want it to be you can also choose it to be appearing in both versions so once you have that set up then you are good to go you have orders and invoices over right here. You can add a, a number prefix. You can choose how to do your numbering for your invoices. All that goes back to how you want it to be. But there is something called abandoned cut. And in WooCommerce, you have to get another plugin to recover your abandoned cuts. And in other circumstances, you may have to actually buy a specific you know, plug in to do specifically this. And guess what? Surecard gives you that all for free. Set it up and you are good to go. Subscription payments, in case you want to manage subscriptions and for example, you sell a service and it repeats monthly, you can still have the power to do that within Surecard. Now, unfortunately in WooCommerce, you have to pay for that. You have to squeeze some more bucks to get that set up. I am pretty impressed that Surecard is so simple from the interface and gives you so much to offer. On top of that for a fraction, literally no cost, I would say in this case. If you are managing affiliates, uh, affiliates are people who sell or represent you in one way or the other and they help you to make sales and Surecard can enable you to manage affiliates and have these people help you to, you know, to talk about your product and then encourage the sales process. When people purchase from their links, they get a commission and that all you can set up from here in Surecard. And look, very simple to set up, just step-by-step -step process and you have that set up. I don't know if, any of my viewers on this channel would be interested in a video talking about affiliate management and things around it. I would be happy to know in the comment box below if you would love to see a video about probably using Shuaka to do affiliate management and donations or collecting donations with Shuaka because from where I come from, collecting donations has been a hassle, especially regarding payments. And Shuaka is giving us a variety of payment methods that you know, are able to allow you to accept donations from different, you know, currencies. Now, if you want to manage taxes in WooCommerce, that's a whole other hassle. So the taxes issue is something that we don't speak so much about, especially for people who have to run this business, they are solo entrepreneurs. I have to mention that Truecard offers this feature where you automatically know what kind of tax collections, the taxes included, uh, the fallback rate, and you can choose the regions. 
Like you see here, they say manage how your store charges sales tax within each region. Check with the tax expert to understand your tax obligations. Of course, you have to, you know, know what exactly you have to pay. You know, of course, give Caesar what belongs to Caesar. So this is here where you can manage all that from. And looking back, it reminds me the time when I had to manage a physical product store. And it was a lot hectic on how to manage the taxes issue. And when I see a new product like Shuakat, okay, right now it's not anymore a new product. It has over 100,000 users. But when I see such things happening, then I know the future is bright for entrepreneurs, people trying to sell physical, digital products, subscriptions, donations. This makes me so much happy. Now, shipping, uh, I think you guys would be interested in looking at the payment processor section. And under this section is one of the things that either makes or breaks your business because I have read from so many sellers who have been disappointed by one payment gateway or the other because the payment gateway company thought of something fishy happening on their store and then they have to lock in their money and then they have to cancel their contracts and before you know yeah but now with uh i see with Shuakat, they are giving us the possibility to have multiple payment gateways i see molly here i see paystack which is really a giant in africa i see nigeria ghana kenya so if you are a creator or a seller an entrepreneur and you want an e-commerce platform that will help you sell and also enable you integrate payment methods then Shuakat is giving you that option and you can as well add your own payment methods or payment modes and of course if you want to manage and also accept manual payments from your clients you can set that up right over here now pain points of sellers is integrations and the product being able to work with other products in the ecosystem like for example in wordpress well Shuakat is giving you so many integrations and automations so in this case we see we have autokit autokit is also an automations plugin or service from the team at brainstorm force so they have this suit of products and autokit is one of them and you can make it that you integrate your Shuakat store with different automation processes when you receive an order something happens and something happens and then something happens you have AutoKit, you have Shua Dash, you have Shua members, all these are the other product suit from um, the same company like Astra and then Starter Templates all work together well with Shuakat. But also you have other automation plugins like Zapier, you know, I think you know about Zapier, you have uh, Flowmat, you have Integrity, you have Omnisend. Well, those are already more than you would actually get from other existing plugins out there. So we also have this integration with Fluent CRM. I use Fluent uh, CRM on my website. So I would actually use, if I'm to use Shuakat, I think I would look into the option to also to integrate with Fluent CRM. So that was all about the settings part in Shuakat. Maybe what I didn't talk about is the currencies. There's the option in Shuakat whereby when a store visitor comes to your website, they can see the price in their home currency. All right, so let's look over here. For example, if you were to look at the orders, this is how the orders, you know, section looks like. And if, for example, I open up this order and then I look at the order details, you see literally the, the kind of WooCommerce experience. But yeah, it feels much more clear and straightforward. You know where to find what. Uh, you don't have to jump around hoops to find something. You know exactly. So for example, here, this is a phone field order. You know what is paid. You know if this is subscription and know when, when it's ending in case of subscription payments. And if we look at back here to the orders, uh, let's see abandoned products if there is an abandoned product of course here you'll see that there's an abandoned product and with cut abandonment it enables you to set up a series of how often you want to reach out this client after they abandon the cut and like i told you this is already free in Shuakat. we have an invoicing system and you can also set this up individually which is pretty nice 
let's look here at the products you see we have a list of products you can add new products physical virtual products you know all that just like we have been doing in woocommerce it also a bit a similar process with Chewacat. I'm not going to the process of adding products and all that stuff but all I can tell you is that it's pretty easy and very straightforward so it's a bit much more easier and gives you a better experience so when I come here to the shop, I'm going to select just one product. So this is a simple variation product. So for example, if we look at the variation product in this case, you see that we can choose just like we have been doing in WooCommerce and of course Shopify that you can choose a different size of a product and also the color. And also you can look at the different product images just like that. You can also have, it's called a single sign out button so like single checkout and you directly go to the checkout page just like you see that on amazon now when we go back here to the shop page we can look at another product sample so this is multiple subscription option so this is a typical product which you can set up that someone can pay monthly every other month still within or using Surecut. And like we already know, that doesn't come for free in WooCommerce. You need to add an extra plugin just to do subscription payments. When you look here at the checkout process, they give you, you know, this checkout builder and you can choose what you want to appear in your checkout form. You can also access the design library and add different elements to your checkout page. And these are things that are so hard to configure if you are having to use like Shopify. And here in Shortcut, it makes it so easy and straightforward. Well, that was my first impressions about Shortcut. And I'm wondering if you guys would be interested in me creating a video about a specific feature like the donations or recurring subscriptions because these are topics that we don't talk so much often in WordPress but if they're talked about it involves money and Shurecut is giving us this for free so I'm thinking would you guys be interested in such a thing otherwise I thank you so much for watching give this video a like a comment and subscribe if you're new here I'll be so happy to see you in the next video